For the first time in more than three decades, there is life here at the historic Michigan Central Station in Detroit. And when you go inside, it is a sight to see. From 15 years ago to now, Michigan Central Station is back, returned to its glory over the last six years by the Ford Motor Company. Richard Hess was a lead architect on the project. We went through a careful process of salvaging over several dozen different elements to make sure that we could recreate them as work was continuing, elements were continuing to deteriorate once we started working here, and we wanted to salvage and preserve as many of those elements as possible. More than 3,000 skilled workers used today's technology to restore and or recreate everything you see, and they overcame huge challenges like massive water damage. It actually took almost two years, the better part of two years, to really dry out the building, to get the water out of the building and begin sealing it from the, the elements. I was in awe of the, the quality of the restoration and how grand it was. Lori Burr is a lifelong Metro Detroiter. She toured the first floor and calls it amazing, particularly since the city at one point was ready to tear the building down. The fact that in 2009 City Council, you know, was talking about it was an eyesore and uh, they would have torn it down but they didn't have the money. <laughs> so we are blessed by that to be able to still have this building here. Michigan Central Station was to Detroit what Ellis Island was to New York. It was the gateway to a new and better life for many coming from other states and countries. Richard Hess says preserving that for future generations is important. The idea that you can adapt an existing historic building for the next generation and really have that type of community impact, is that's what architecture is all about. For many of the people here visiting Michigan Central Station, this is truly a walk down memory lane. And Bill Ford Jr., who made this restoration possible, said it is that, but it is so much more. Because now this building will become the focal point of celebrating transportation of the past, but charting transportation of the future for this city and this state. We are at a restored and reopened Michigan Central Station. I'm Mike Wolfo, Mid-Michigan Now.